the bride? Her mother in enough from the bottom of my heart for joining us on this day where we celebrate the marriage between this guy that I kind of know and this girl who somewhat likes him. <laughs> now, as I sat trying over and over again to write a few words worth listening to, I became very frustrated. I mean, how do you, how do you celebrate a marriage? I know nothing about marriage. Certain, certain holidays are easy and actually instructional to celebrate. Thanksgiving Day, for example, is a day in which you give thanks. And Cinco de Mayo is a day where you fill your sink up with mayo. <laughs> it just all makes sense. But what about marriage? What is marriage? Well, it's a word. Merriam-Webster says that it's a noun derived from the Anglo-French marriage which came into use in the 4th century. It's defined as the state of being united to a person as a husband or wife in a consensual and contractual relationship recognized by law. So there it is. It's a contract. It's a piece of paper signed by an unhappy county clerk worker that says, <laughs> you guys are going to share all of your stuff till death do you part. So, share your stuff. So, pride. <laughs> Please share your Xbox. And Jenny, do not be stingy with Princess Poop and Star. <laughs> but marriage is more than a contract. It's also a promise. It's both a singular event and a lifelong commitment. It says, I will be there for you as you will be there for me. I trust you and will never waver in the faith that you trust me too. And I won't tell anyone I met you on the internet, if you know. <laughs> it's a promise, symbolized by a ring, sealed with a kiss, and left in the hands of those who make it. But yet, marriage is still more than a promise. It's a covenant. It's the greatest agreement you'll enter in your entire life. It's a covenant in which you state that your problems are my problems, and your happiness is our happiness. This agreement it goes beyond a ring, beyond a piece of paper, and beyond this earthly life itself. We're talking about love here, people. <laughs> Blind, unwavering, all-consuming, undying, zombie-like, true love. <laughs> and love, true love, <laughs> will follow you forever. Let us read from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but instead rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. May please have the rings. Do you, Jenny, take Brian as your husband? To love him and to honor him in times of joy and in times of difficulty? Do you promise with all of your heart and soul to honor this vow till death do you part? Good start. <laughs> hey, Brian. Well, I, I suppose you can put that on. <laughs> and do you, Brian, take Jenny as your wife to love her and to honor her? In times of joy and in times of difficulty, do you promise with all of your heart and soul to honor this vow 
Told that to you part. I do. Oh, there's a bug. Looks like what's that reaction? <laughs> All right. By the power vested in me, by the state of Illinois, I proudly and really proudly proclaim you to be husband and wife. Brian, please kiss your bride. present to you for the first time the newest Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> and if you all could just remain here until Brian and Jenny come and dismiss you, that'd make things a whole lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.